Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild playthrough. Last time we did some sword. Well, we did the Korok trials, which I thought was the sword trials, but then it turns out that it was uh, just uh, more shrines, which then led us to kind of the sword trials in a roundabout way. And uh, then after, like, doing... Well, I guess technically we did that after we did a bunch of shrines. And now we made our way to Gerudo Town. Still find it interesting that they let, uh, let the Goron in. Just a funny little thing. Last time, while we were here, we are just kind of looking at the various different things. Oh, it's neat. They have Tabantha and, like, a uh, Hylian rice. Well, I guess uh, that's rice and this is wheat. So just wondering that there was also, like, highly in wheat, but eh, I'm a fool. And you sell different things. I guess I should maybe grab some chill shrooms. Uh. Well, if, if, if there's only one. I was hoping there would be more. Sadness. Don't think we talked to you. Chill shrooms are great, but nights here are so cold. Maybe I should get some sun shrooms instead. Well, I have my Rito garb if it gets really, really cold. Uh, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I need my disguise to stop me. Oh, yeah, I think we came in here. What if we talk to him? You can free yourself, man. But yeah, we mostly just wandered around. We got Topaz earrings, so we have some electricity resistance. But I guess... Before we head in, do we have any, like, light snacks? Hmm. I guess if anything, we should just, like, I guess eat an apple. Or, like, the chilies. We have a lot of chilies. So now we're at max health. So we can go and say hi to people. Uh, go in there and then maybe climb to the top and see if there's something there. Be hilarious if there was somehow like a shrine at the tippy tippy top. Huh? What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Information? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. Huh? Oh, it's Tracy! The rumor mill monger lady! <laughs> no way, you've never heard of rumor mill either? I've heard of it. <sighs> Phew, thank goodness. If you told me you've never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have taken the news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy myself, you know. Uh. Hey now, get this wishy-washy garbage out of here. What's more of conviction? What? Uh. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself from Rumor Mill. Huh? Chuck and surprise. I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Hello. There sure are a lot of Hylians coming by today. This is the home of the chief of the Gerudo. It's my duty to make sure that no one assists uh, that, that. It's my duty to make sure that no one suspicious enters. Do not distract me from my job. <laughs> Why would I say I'm Gerudo? I am obviously not. Uh, can I go in? Huh? We're busy. It's an emergency. Authorized personnel only. That's what I would say if I had my way, but the chief is a kind person. She's told me to allow visitors. If you want to go inside, be my guest. But if you say even one rude thing to the chief, no. you and my spear will be a very personal conversation. Oh. Neat. Well, I guess we'll head in. Oh. And see the other brick shit house that's there. Like, modeled herself after the statues, I guess. Good God, she's like three times bigger than the chief. Riju, Gerudo chief. With a fancy headdress. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Ah, you see through me, do you? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. And what's that? My sword? My slate? Like, seriously, she's basically oh. the statues. You stand before Lady Riju, chief of Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on. How do you say that name? Bulleria? 
Hold on, Boleria. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? I am Link. Uh. Link. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. You think you have what it takes to subdue something as powerful as the Divine Beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Urbosa. And all the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. Hmm, Valeria, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody knew this? Like, you'd think that, like, I don't know, Pura or Empa would have sent the message around, at least to, like, Dorfin, maybe the Elder of the Rito. And, like, I don't know, I don't even know, like, what, like, uh, Goron City's like, but, like, you'd think they would have sent the message to the leaders or just the populace of the various regions to be like, hey... The legendary hero Link has been put into a rejuvenation sleep. He has a timer of like a hundred years. From YouTube chat, hello. Hello, hello. We're finally getting on with Va Naboris. I think, I think it's Va Naboris. I know the fir last part's Naboris. I forget what the first part of the name is. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more, le more legend than fact. Mm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can imagine they would I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter. Can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment, you're a Vo! <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime, but a Vo who is a champion. Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Arbosa, and if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. Mm. You saw it on your way to town. Divine Beast Va- Ah, it is Vanaboris. My memory was not completely destroyed. Cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare mm -hmm. approach. We have to do something to stop it, but we've yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you'll be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I don't see how you, you can trust a complete stranger of something as important as this task. Perhaps this person will first approve his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Hmm. Ah, yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunderhelm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Beleria says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Vrijou. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch, it will lead you to the barracks, then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Mm. Without it, my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Obosa must be looking out for us. I don't know, I think it would have been interesting. If, like, there was, like, I don't know, a little bit more drama. Maybe I had to fight the captain. That would have been cool. But at the same time, maybe a bit too much like Ocarina of Time. Let's see. Who's the captain? Hey, I haven't seen Barda. Where she's gone off oh. to? She said she was going to scout the thieves' hideout, but then she left before we could say anything. Mm. Now that I think about it, she's been gone for two days. You'd think that one day would be enough to ring alarm. I wonder what happened to her. No. You... Are you serious? Why did you let her go by herself? And why did you wait two days to report this? Huh? Exactly. I'm... I apologize. She said she just wanted to check it out and would be careful, so I thought... Hmm. Two days! Ah, uh, as if we aren't busy enough searching for the chief heirloom. Now I have to find Barda, hmm. too. If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably a hundred laps around Gerudo Desert. Again. Not even Ooh. the perimeter of the city. The entire desert? I think that would kill people. Oh no, what should we do? <laughs> I'm thinking about it! I'm going to assume that you are the captain. Huh? What are you doing in here? There's the barracks for our chief's guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. 
Riju sent me. Give the task to me. What? Oh, I guess technically, yeah, she did. I guess, I wonder what role Balaria is. Like, royal right-hand guard lady? Apparently uh, higher than the overall captain. Ah, maybe she's the Gerudo general. That would make sense. What if Balaria sent you? My apologies. I'm the office in charge of the soldiers. Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan. Oh, the Yiga clan! I... You know... <laughs> you know, even though I knew that the Yiga clan existed all this time, they keep trying to assassinate me. I saw them, like, in Age of Calamity. Completely forgot that they would... might actually be a... S something of substance in this game. The other day, so everyone is on edge. Hmm, that's kind of... Oh, hmm. I wonder what they mean by the other day. To me, the other day is like yesterday. Like, the other day. The day that is other than today. Because if it was more than just yesterday, you would say, like, a few days ago. But if it was yesterday, you would probably say yesterday. So I don't know. Language hard! Because I was going to say, if it was actually yesterday as the other day... Then the one Gerudo that went to check out the, like, uh, Yiga clan base, I guess, find out anything about them, scout them out, would have been gone before the helm was stolen. So everyone is on edge. Yeah. We've determined that the Yiga's hideout is in Karusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted. So I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey, everyone, listen up. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer any information you can. Ooh. Also, great googly moogly, why do you have combat, like, heels? They're not even, like, platform boots, they're full-on heels. I mean, I guess if you kick someone with them, they'd really hurt, but... It seems impractical. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. We're continuing our investigation through the heat of the day and the cold of night. So far we know about the thieves. Ah. These thieves are highly skilled in both stealth and disguise. They refer to themselves as the Yiga. They slipped into town in the dark of night, stole the chief's heirloom, and vanished like smoke in the wind. Mm. We believe them to be descendants of the Sheikah tribe that splintered and turned to villainy. But why would they want to steal the Thunderhelm? Well, hmm. Can... I forget... Did they ever mention anything like? Hmm. Consider. Oh, uh, I think I remember like hearing something. I forget exactly where, but like, way way back when, like Hyrule kind of turned on the Sheikah, and they're like, "Ah, your technology is scary." So the Sheikah like laid down their technology to placate the Hyruleans or the Hylians, and. A part of them were, like, very miffed at that. So, like, you know what? Screw this. We're gonna go help the Calamity we swore to destroy. And that's basically the Yiga clan. So, considering that the Yiga basically want to help bring about the Calamity, they'd want to protect the Von Naboris from being cured by me. So, that would basically round out to them, like, stealing the Thunderhelm to get in my way more than anything. Or, I guess, stop anyone from being able to uh, get into Von Aborus. Where's the hideout? Mm. We know that the thieves' hideout is in Carusa Valley. The path through the valley is very difficult. Despite repeated attempts to infiltrate the hideout, we haven't yet managed to set foot inside. <laughs> Painful though it is to admit, it seems possible that some other group of desert dwellers has bested us. Barda hasn't returned in many days. Could she have been captured by those thieves? No, uh, the sandstorms out n near the Carusa Valley have been bad. I'm certain she's gotten lost or stranded. I'm worried for her. Uh. I'll, have got I'll have to go out with a sand seal and search again, but uh, it makes me feel sick to surf the round with one. <laughs> I guess, like, what's the word? It's not seasickness. I guess, like, motion sickness? I guess people could get, like, a sickness on, like, skateboarding or, I guess, like, just surfing, surfing. Mm -hmm. Despite my warnings, you and this Vi here keep wandering into the barracks. 
know that the only reason you're not already sliced into pieces is because we are otherwise occupied. Harsh. Savak. Savak. Oh. My husband, yeah, was the first one to tell me I was beautiful. I love him so, and so I must find someone who can bring me the small Duga guts, no matter what. Oh. Yeah, as a monster of terror. Yeah, we already heard this part. Hmm. Those thieves sure have guts scheming against us like that. We'd never have lost in a fair fight. But this training, it's so tough. Considering your abs, I think it's working out quite well. <sighs> Bobby's training is really tough, but it's our fault the thieves are successful. We have no room to complain. At least you have, like, uh, what's the word? Like some honor about it. Well, let's, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot to do that one. So we'll head out the front gate, do that, and then I guess... Oh. I wonder if that's connected. I guess I'll try to go through the front because I can, so... I'll head there and then maybe try to make my way that way. Completely forgot that I didn't do the shrine right here. I wonder if I can stand on... Sign. Because I figured that the one way to do it is to like listen in. Or maybe I need to do something for them to like earn their trust and they'll be like, ah, this is the password. I also like the background music for the village. Seems nice. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the shrine. And then we'll go to the valley. And I guess I'll lay the smackdown onto the Yiga clan. I guess it makes sense. More electricity. The whole picture. Let's see, is there another one over here? Or is it just one? I wonder if I can, like, bring out my own... Oh, there's a big block. I'm an idiot. Because I was going to say, I wonder if I could bring out my metal weapons. And, like, kind of do it that way. That would be kind of funny. Alright, now we can use this. Let's see, because... this side, if possible. Grand, like, some of these probably wouldn't be possible without the big block. And then we can use this chest as further conduit. Maybe. Thunderblade. Once again, like, there's so many. Then again, I wonder if I could just shoot the conduits with, like, uh, electricity thing. Let's see. I'm curious. Can I cheat? You can cheat! Well, maybe not. The idea was there, but not entirely. It would have been funny, though. Maybe that's why it's called the full picture. You need all of them. All right, let's see. Hmm. 
Maybe I will have to, like, drag out that electricity blade. Just throw it on the ground. There we go. <laughs> it was flickering on and off. Now, with these two big boxes, I should be able to activate the two sides unless we need to get the circuit up here. We do not. Interesting. Oh, because the electricity from the right went to the left. Got you, got you. Very interesting. Because we're only just now getting to, like, electricity puzzles. Well, at least they're the only ones that I've found so far. Well, give me your orb! Completely forgot that I just didn't do this one when I first activated it. Spirit orb! Then I need to decide if I want to continue on, like, stamina, or if I want to get hearts more. Because stamina is nice, but if I really, 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 really wanted to, I could get a bunch of, like, stamina things. Stamina elixirs, stamina food, and kind of cheese it that way. Hmm. But I think making, like, good, like... What's the word? Like, heart food... Is better than like the other like stamina food because it's a sand for a moment it's just like what the hell is over there and then there's just these like ruins over here because I do want to like go in like through the valley. Because I think that would be interesting. Worst comes to worst, we can always, like, uh, I don't know, teleport to Gerudo Tower and head over to the big hole, because that's probably where they are. And it seems to be getting colder, so I'm going to put on my favoritist drip. There ain't no drip like Rito drip. do 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 do, -do. I need to clean my computer screen at some point. For a moment there, I thought I was like, is that an entrance? No, it's just flags. Monster flags, I guess. Ah, more hydro melons. I guess to keep you cool during the day. <gasps> like, I do find it kind of funny. Hydra melons. That's literally just watermelon. Slightly different. Nintendo are like, we can't have things <laughs> that have real names in our fantasy land. Oh. Never seen that before, a fly. <laughs> like, you didn't even try to really get close. I don't fear you. I have bombs. I have bombs. I can kill you while moving in the direction I want to go. You mean nothing to me. You mean nothing to me. I hate you. Boom. Will you ever learn to try and flank me from a greater direction? Yeah, I figured that that bomb would probably send you flying. I don't need to waste my weapon integrity on you. I don't need to waste anything. But that is illegal. Back off. How dare you? Run right through my explosion. You see nothing with your lizard eyes. You see nothing at all. 
Okay, I gotta say, that big, like, uh... Oh, the dead's not good at all! It's a keys and it's gonna fly at me! I fear the thunder keys the most because when I kill them, their bodies fly at me. They're like a last ditch, I'm taking you with me, and it is scary. Come on. I would rather damage myself than ever let you damage me. Not only do I have to deal with him, I have to deal with his dead ancestors too! Die. <laughs> Why were you just wandering around? I'm just killing your buddies. Yeah. Let's see, this is a 20. Is there anything under 20 that I uh, care to use and destroy? And uh, not really, I guess I'll just use this. I'm just... Stop it, stop it, die. Be gone, Satan. And now I replace with better. I wonder if the Electro, like, Lizalfos are related to the Melduga, considering that apparently they're both, like, mini Graboid Trimmer guys. Alright, at least those ones didn't come barreling at me in the afterlife. <laughs> now that, that just makes me think. A Link finally dies. They wake up in the afterlife. Every monster they've ever killed is waiting for them. Now begins the ultimate test. Linkity Lunk. I should probably save just in case something goes crazy. Since we're apparently approaching the enemy like home. I'm coming for you, Yiga Clan, you fucks. You thought you could hide from me? Like these schmucks? They can't hide from me, I am God. Uh, yeah. Ah, I still hit it. Get out of here. Impressive that, like, I shoot their friends. They don't even react. They're dedicated to the bit. They're just like, well, maybe he didn't see me. And like an idiot, they just stood still and let me, well, my arrows fly. Although now my brain just gave me a thought. What if it is possible that I am walking into a trap? Well, that's just the blood moon rising. <laughs> right as I say, walking into a trap, the blood moon rises. Ah, that's ominous. But, uh, to complete my thought, for a moment there, or like, I guess still, I'm just wondering if I'm potentially walking into a trap from the Yiga clan. And if so, will this be like a, ah, we're gonna knock you out and take your stuff? Considering that there's a... Gerudo lady that again. got apparently nabbed by them while trying to find their base. Who's to say that I'm any safer? Maybe I'll have to team up with her to escape the Yiga clan. Or I'm just gonna barge on in and go crazy. Interesting that they have like their own little like frog like iconography with their Yiga clan eye. Ah, it's the Koroks again. With all of their boulders. Either that or the Yiga clan have very advanced pressure plate technology that can activate from a long ways away. I don't know, I think it'd be interesting if, like, the Yiga clan had evil Sheikah Slate. 
they use with their own evil Sheikah technology. I, I mean, considering that the Yiga clan are meant to be the splinter group of the Sheikah, who left the Sheikah clan because the Sheikah were willing to throw away their technology and basically placate the Hylians. That were going like, oh, we're afraid of your technology. Yeah. And the Yiga clan are basically like, hey, we helped you take down the Calamity. And this is how you repay us, you jerks. You'd think that they'd be the ones using technology. And instead, the ones using technology are... Like a... I wonder if that's just a sand effect or if it's, it's actually something wandering around up there. It seems to be in the same area, but it could just be an effect. Oh, it could be the sand that's fallen from above. That's probably it. It was just me being paranoid. Considering that aside from rolling rocks, we have encountered nothing. Rolling rocks and a ton of stone frogs. No, oh, this path kind of reminds me of a pathway in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I think, like, up your way to Death Mountain, I think. And the music changed. Or rather, I should say... Well, you're scary. You quit drawing, son of a bitch! You dare quick draw me? I figured he would aim just a little bit longer, give me some courtesy. No, he did not. What a jerk. You know, it'd be extra terrifying. Ominous wind. You know, it'd be extra terrifying if a Stalfo, like, Moblin... Dropped like moblin guts one time. Where did they come from? No one knows. Oh, you have a bow! Oh. What's a Yiga bow? Well, it shoots, it shoots too. Oh, it shoots too. That's actually kind of neat. Let me see. Is there any bows that I would like to drop? I guess I'll drop that. Gib. New Yiga! <laughs> New Yiga just dropped. Literally, because I killed him. I don't like when I hear stippy steps. Like, I swear. I hear stippy steps. It's probably just the sand dropping. But I hate. Get blasted, idiot. What? I wonder what that is. I'm intrigued. Be gone, coyote. Howl this. I need to be careful. It could be tied. If you seek power untold, offer a shining blue stone. Do you mean sapphire or luminous? You might be talking luminous stone. Well, that was easy. It would be hilarious if this was a Yiga shrine instead of a Sheikah shrine. Considering that there's the answer to the shrine right next to the shrine activation thing. Like, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of funny. Again, the Yiga need to be the ancient, like, Sheikah technology guys, considering 
that they've split off from the Sheikah due to disgust from the Sheikah kowtowing to the Hylians. Also, is am I just insane when it comes to my brain wanting to refer to the Hylians as Hyruleans? Or did they originally be referred to as Hyruleans? I am Shodantu. I am the, in the name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this trial. Two bombs. <laughs> One bomb. Okay, the fact that the other things didn't break is a little disturbing. What is with you? Die, block! <laughs> Two bombs, you say? What's in you? Money! And we all can do with money! Eh. Ah. I overestimated my ability to not be dumb. Uh -huh. Puzzled. You are covered from every side. Yes, I think so. Then what's the point of launching me? If I uh, shot you with a bomb arrow, would that work? Apparently bomb arrows work. I don't think that was what they meant or intended. But I will take it! Is this where Double Bomb comes from? I think this might be where Double Bomb comes from. So I think I need to blast that. That launches that. Okay. I think I understand this time I you should try to do it legitimately. I just felt that it didn't work because I got on top, dropped the bomb, and it didn't work, but it probably was just poor timing. And now we'll enter the realm of three bombs! Of course not, but that would be funny. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. Ah, idea, maybe. Wrong. Huh. What if I threw you in too? I think my... Yeah, that's in there. And now I can use my other bomb when it goes over there. I just need to time it properly. Boom. I am the winner. I am the Hylian Victorious. That was a very fun one. That was a very fun one. I like fun puzzles. Yeah! Although it is kind of funny that there's just a highly like a, a Sheikah shrine on the doorstep of the Yiga clan. And the Yiga clan never thought to, like, defile, like, the riddle that wasn't even written in, like, ancient Sheikah stone. It was just normal stone. At least I think so. They could be like, eh. You vile fiends. 
This is our doorstep. Die. I'm going to continue to use ice arrows because it's funny. It amuses me when these fools try to strike me down with their arrows. Although it would be doubly hilarious if I used their own bows against them. But does this mean that if I go in there and kick their ass, there will be no more bows? Interesting. So I guess all these ones are like undisturbed. Like normal Sheikah frogs. And now we've crossed to it all being Yiga. Well, considering that they're throwing all their people at me. Oh, and you're a Super Bowl. I will drop you for the Super Bowl. It is better because, oh, actually it's not, oh, it's just some weapons just have random buffs on them. That's cool. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. It me. Hmm, there's a torch. And a bow. Interesting. Uh, maybe burn those? Why would they just have random keys in their home? Link exterminator. Eh. Hmm. You know, I think I'll just uh, do what they probably want me to do. Actually, probably shouldn't do that because uh, there could be more keys. Just hanging around anywhere. Get out of there. You're evicted. I am Link Landlord. And I'm here to repossess the Yiga Duplex. Yep. Be hilarious if it just exploded. Yep. Come on, Yiga. You're supposed to be terrifying. Let's see. I shoot at you. Oh, I guess that's the way it wants me to go. I find that this is all very... What's the word? Uh... Come on. Catch on fire. But yeah, like, I feel like it's all... Odd. It's like... This is how the Yiga just have their doors? How many... Of the dibbity da, I probably should. I probably should just be. I have a fire thing, don't I? I have a fire blade. Why not use that, idiot? I'm the idiot. Fire blade. Uh. Oh. Uh. Fire blade. And then I go away from fire blade to big pokey stick. Now you're the bomb. Blow me up, please. It would have been funny. Come on, Yiga Clan. You're supposed to be devious. <laughs> I vandalize your home. Yep. Oh, and a vicious sickle. Well, onwards we go. Almost expected there to be a trap. Yiga Clan hideout. Hmm. <laughs> they, 
I assume that this is like her food. These bananas are for her. Hello there. Hey, what are you doing here? There's the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way of distract them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you still can. I can take care of myself. So what you're saying is, we're going sneak mode. And, uh, the best way is to drop a mighty banana in front of him. I want to monitor his route. Maybe. Well, first things first, I should see. Can I climb the walls here? I can climb the walls. And that should hopefully distract him for when he finally comes by again. And then we'll drop down and shank him with the Master Sword. Then again, I probably could have snuck up on him like without the bananas. Even though that technically doesn't kill him. I'm gonna keep on sneaking. Just in case. Hmm. I see uh, what they want me to do there. I think. <laughs> Fool what you are. I wonder what causes the Yiga clan's obsession with bananas. The real question is how I can get her out. Or maybe she's literally just here to be a... Like a tutorial for the bananas. I want to be able to get her out. I'm gonna try. Nope. But why haven't you escaped yet? If anyone spots you, they'll call their friends for sure. Oh, yeah, so. You can get here while you can, I can take care of myself. Hopefully. Maybe by the end of this, after I get the helm, I'll meet you on the other side. And hopefully it's not an actual, oh, why didn't you save her? Sneak about. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of dudes in here. It's a bit hard to get a read on where all of them are. Hmm. 
because I know there's that one stationary, then that one kind of has a small patrol. Oh, I can't save right now. Ominous! I wish I could pull the camera out a bit more. Yeah, the problem is that guy's there. But this is a safe hidey hole. A bit. So what I should be able to do... Well, first things first, I need to watch that guy. Because I should be able to hide behind that brick there. Once this guy does a turn. I just want to make sure that this guy isn't going to patrol out and see me. Yeah, because I don't think I need to fear that one. Probably plenty of banana places I should probably be able to exploit. Could have sworn that I saw you stop at one point. There we go. <laughs> I wonder where they go. I do, I do. And I could probably bring out my. That's not what I wanted, game? I wanted to pick up the topaz. Game, you literally highlighted the topaz! Literally, you did. check out this way first because this seems more optional like go around them it could be like oh go through there if you want the treasure go up here if you want to oh like be able to look at their patterns all this time I was going why could I not have better eyes because I went to the wrong eye place and now I steal their bananas. I am now King K. Rule. I wonder if this restocks. That would be hilarious. Well, let me see. For sniping, I'll have you on. So it seems that there should be roughly four more guards. That guy, guy guarding the door, guy kind of standing in front of the pillar, and then the patroller. Uh, let me see. I could... Maybe... Like, the go-to should probably be, like, uh, smack that down during his patrol. Maybe when he's there. Glide down, sneak up behind him. Because I want him running towards it. gone. Hmm, 
I wonder if I can even climb up that. Like this middle tower. Because it has like those. So it makes me think that I won't be able to. Also kind of creepy that there are Yiga masks here. Yep, knew it. But you... I can climb you. If I wanted to, I could use a Rivali's Gale to get that. Hmm. I don't really see... too much. Not sure how good their eyes are, though. Game, I just want to climb a ladder that you put in front of me. And now this will probably allow me to drop bananas from on high. And take them out one by one. Hmm. Trying to think. Because that banana would land there and I think only draw his attention. But I'm not sure how, like, good and... But I also don't know about that guy, how much he can see. Okay, I think my goal should be to take out this guy. Kind of hate that stumbling a bit knocks me out. Hmm. Because if I could convince him... to go all the way over here, I would be fully ready. Wright does not see that far. One downside, I do not know their actual, like, range. Luckily, I can get my bananas back from failed drops. If it even hit the ground, it might not have hit the ground, actually. No, it hit the ground, it just rolled away from his sight. So yeah, he's actually kind of around a corner, so... Let me see, what was in here? I forget if I checked or not. Silver Rupee did not check. From YouTube chat. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. I am debating the best policy of assassinating these... guys. All right. Hmm. Come on, get up. No. That one pull. No, game. I just want to be able to sneakity sneak a guy to death in peace. I can't hold that here. Oh, he has a lot of health. Dang it. So that means I have to leave and come back. That's very rude, all because they made me fall. 
I don't want to climb there. Game. Game, I don't want to climb the walls! I want to run! I don't know exactly where they want me to go. All because they gave that guy a billion health. It would be kind of annoying if it was like, have to go all the way, all the way. And like, lose them. Like, what is the designated reset? Or maybe I do have to kill them all, which is a bit mean. Not my fault that these guys have terrible eyes for bananas when I want them to. Also, they think they moved my arrow thing to the wrong arrows. How very rude. I shall bomb you to death because I can. What if I should... Oh wait, I could probably also... Wrong thing. Probably also freeze you. How dare you have, like, air debilities. Let's see. What kind of weapon should I smack you guys with? Do I have anything that's close? Oh, I'll use this. Oh, they do a lot of damage. And also they kill you and go, I guess, hmm, that's a little weird. Do they just disable all the fairies and all <laughs> and my Mipha's grace? That's a little weird. The game did not tell me. Maybe it's because, uh, nope, it, it does indeed restart from... Last save. Meanwhile, they do not let you save while in here, which is dumb. I shall sneak up on them one by one and kill them then again. Very rude again, game. Why do you turn around like that? That's illegal. Let me access my thing so I can just go and load, because you're mean game. Extra mean that they didn't give me a auto save after I cleared that room the first time. I have to go back here. Can't even save with my clothes because the game is mean. I wonder if these guys are, like, programmed to die to, like, sneak attacks, or if I just got lucky by using the Master Sword for my sneak attacks. Die. It could be that I got lucky. Although, it would be kind of nice if they did, like, specifically program them to... Like, respond to sneak attacks as death. Bah. Well, let's see. Can I save now? Cannot save right now, which is mean. You have these, like, decently long segments of stealth. Would be nice if I could save in between the... This would be nice game. Especially because if I, like, leave the hideout, like, fully and properly, they'd probably, like, activate. Luckily, these two are pretty easy to get. Oh, dang it. Very rude game. <laughs> Why'd he stop there? I don't remember him stopping there. Have a better sneak camera if you're gonna be this stringent game. It would just be nice if I could enjoy a sneak section. And the game not be an asshole about it. Basically, either let me save... ...or have a better sneak system with better cameras, damn you. Unless they literally do expect you to just, like, paraglide down from the... 
like, top part from the, like, a uh, ladder place that you can go and kill them from there. Which could be the thing they kind of expect you to do. Go to the ladder, paraglide down, or, like, I don't know. Could be that they expect you to drop the bananas, airdrop them. Sneak them that way, maybe. Hmm. One thing I'm gonna do, just as a quick thing in a thing, I'm gonna see if I can go to like that main big room, save there, and then come back and see if they reset this section of the sneaking. It's possible that they'll do that. It'll be mean. But let's see. Because can I save now? I can save now. And I don't think they would have reset the sneaking that quickly, but let's see. Alright, that's one way to do it. I can whittle them down by... <laughs> Jump in one of them, kill him, run back to the place, save, and that'll probably be it. Like, why not let the player save in here? It's just weird. I can. Only, I wonder if it's only not as bad because I have upgraded Sheikah sneaking. Climb on this side. Alright. I'll go ahead and knock that down. Wait for him here. And then I'm gonna run back to the front and save. I just need to get out without being seen, which should be relatively easy. So long as I don't cross there when he's crossing, because the other two are stationary. Now it's possible those two might respawn once I get far enough away and try to do my safe thing. Unless maybe I can save here. Cannot save right now. Why, I ask? Why? <laughs> Why well, have super stringent sneak parameters with super tanky guys who love bananas, their potassium, and not let me save? Like, it's not even a, oh, like, again, it's, it's very weird that those guys can just kill you. You're, because I have, like, five fairies. I have five goddamn fairies. And Mifo's Grace. And those just didn't count for some reason. Yep, seems all there. And we basically know that we can't sneak headshot them. More than likely. From my Twitch chat, hi. Hello, hello. I am trying to sneak through. Sheik, well not Sheika, Yiga Hell. At least we can steal their bananas and they'll never know. Although, the real question, why do they have a banana horde up a ladder? That's a question. How would you even get the bananas down? Hmm. Okay, because the main problem is, I'm not quite sure... Like, uh... Let me head over to the... Like, basically, main scouting part for this area. Because I do believe that there are a few... Like, uh, shoot down the bananas. Like, at least one. But then there's that guy. 
I did save, so I guess <laughs> unless I, if reloading actually respawns them, which would actually be kind of a dick move. I miss the glitches in this game so bad. Did they actually patch a bunch of glitches? That would actually be interesting. Okay, so... My plan... is maybe when he's over there, shoot that... and then drop a banana over there so I can swoop in. Oh, damn it, that landed right, right in front of him. But hey, that might be his new spot. I think I can maybe... Ooh, I think I might be able to sneak in and kill that guy now. A lot of glitches are unpatched. It's just that they uh, can't use them in Tears of the Kingdom. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. At least it's kind of neat that they kept, uh, like, a bunch of glitches in Breath of the Wild while patching them in for Tears of the Kingdom, even though, it was, like, some of them sound pretty fun. But, hey, he moved up a bit, so I should be able to kill him when he's the second one's over there. Which makes him a sitting duck on his patrol. Oh, oh, because he dropped a banana. I'm a <laughs> completely forgot. I miss thunderclap rushing. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. And this means that I'll be able to. Okay, just to be safe. I need this guy maximally. Oh, you can't hold it there. I'm gonna stab you. I want them maximally distracted so they don't just turn around and annihilate me. Again, it could be possible that even if I do my, like, saving, by going back to the front, that re reloading will reload these guys back in. That could be a safety measure that they put into the game. But on the offhand chance, it was like, I've yet to experience that yet. I've yet to test it. But I'm gonna give it a shot. But now I wonder what my experience of Tears of the Kingdom will be. Because I've never beaten Breath of the Wild. I think this is the farthest end to Breath of the Wild that I've gotten yet. Ever before. And the last time I got, like, this far. Because I don't think I've ever actually went into the Iga Clan base. Like, uh... The last time I got anywhere near this far was years ago, when the game first came out. Right. So now the plan is to climb up there and use the advantage point to drop bananas on his head, fly down and stab him. Unless there's a distractible ban- oh! There's a way to sneak by. Potentially. Well, there's a ladder. But with lots of spikes. So it almost seems like I'd have to jump and glide. Uh, I wonder if they'll even uh, question it. Do you question this? Does not question it at all. Oh. 
But now I'm interested what that spiky path is. I'm also interested what's in Big Barrel. Not, not even a big banana. Shame. Shame. Basically using a shield block to mark the enemy and you can go somewhere... Uh, and you can go somewhere. You can go into bullet time from, click attack, and arrow at the same time allows you to teleport and automatically flurry rush into the enemy you marked of your shield. That sounds complex. I wonder if the reason it might have gotten fixed is they changed stuff to the physics. Or just like other like incidental things. So maybe it was like an incidental patching more than, ah, eh, we don't like this. Stop it now. I could see either. Oh, and then there's a, a hidden door. <laughs> and remember, everybody, to stay hydrated, especially here in this banana hell. As I get all the rupees. You can also combine it with double jumping off of bombs with a shield to go into a thunderclap rush. Yeah. All those advanced techs that I just do not have. <laughs> Hope this doesn't, like, reveal a Yiga clan guy just eating a banana. Okay. I'm gonna do my normal thing, head to my paranoia thing, of head to the front, save, and pray, pray that there isn't a safety feature within this section where if you die and reload at any point to the front that it would then, like, respawn everybody. I could see that being a function. When entering y uh, the Yiga hideout from a save, respawn all the dudes. But I've yet to reload a save since this run, so I do not know. The day they all respawn is the day that I cry. Although I guess if I really, really wanted to, there like, some aspects that I could just kind of speed past. <laughs> now they're very aware of the glitch everyone used it. Can I tell you a trick of the fire sword? You can tell me the trick. Might not use it myself. But you can tell me. Lots of buried chests in a bedroom. A duplex bow. I thought that was actually arrows. Well, let's get some chests. Yep. When uh, your flame blade needs to charge back up, switch to a different weapon and switch back to sword. It'll recharge the fire. That's pretty cool. And not like totally broken either. Just kind of like a min-maxing thing. Kind of like uh, running and whistling for your horse at the same time kind of like stutter steps your stamina usage a bit. I don't really use that one as much. And I also saw that that's a magnesis wall. Will this be a bomb? That'd be hilarious. Mighty banana. Oh. For some reason, uh, this seems like a boss arena. Well, if it's gonna be a boss arena, I'm going in with my Rito Drip. And what weapon should I bring in? Ah, I can use my, ma well, should I use my Master Sword? I'll use some uh, other things. Cutscene time. I can't believe that near the end of the sneak section, I got caught and died. Oh, it is the big hole. What would have happened if I just flew down into the big hole place? Why do they have a big hole? Hey. Hey. What? <laughs> Impressive that you could do the teleport thing. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? 
How, how are you even awake if you were napping? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip, is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... It's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! What luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout! Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I am the leader of the Yiga Clan! The strong, the burly, the one, the only! Master Koga! Now prepare yourself! Lol. Oh, I can't even freeze you in time. Smack, smack, smack. So it seems most of the actual damage will come from just smacking him with uh, arrows. And Although I wonder, can I yeet a bomb at him? I don't even have to use my... That did no damage, huh? Oh, because... <laughs> uh, a change to uh, diddly dee. Also impressive that you can float. Huh. Oh, I'm probably supposed to freeze them, whack them back at him. Oh, or... Darn, I missed. Oh, that was so close. I wonder what happened if I headshot you with a guardian arrow. Damn it, I did it too early again! I am a fool! Ah, oh, damn it. It's, now it's too late. Oh, no, it hit you! I smack you. I smack you even harder. How the hell did you get buried up to your ass? Upside down. Really, if anything, that's kind of impressive. Also, this kind of reminds me of Naruto music. Gotcha! Head on! Apply directly to the forehead. And I did it again. He had barely any health for his next phase change. Wow, do I, do I have to Magnesis that from you? That was fun. I don't even have to time this one. Impressive that you have, like, all of this. <laughs> Do you have a phase two? Who would have thought I'd be done in like this? And by this guy of all people? You think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? <clears throat> I almost lost my temper there. Oh, what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do. Ha! I got it! <laughs> I need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father. It will. DESTROY YOU! THIS IS THE END! What's the secret move? Raising something from that bottomless pit? Or just summoning that again? <laughs> uh, huh. Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone, and not just from my line of sight. 
Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique ultimate. Coward, I shall be remembered! Did he actually fucking die? The Yiga clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! I wonder if he just faked that, so he... <laughs> like, maybe? I don't know. Well, huh. Again, I wonder what would have happened if I just dropped in from the sky. Thunderhelm! A precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Yiga. It has the power to withstand Naboris's lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to Riju. Can I save in here, game, at least? Thank you. That was interesting. That was the first time that there was, like, a... A person boss fight. I'm almost disappointed he's gone. And of course, the one time I get the uh, brain idea, oh, I'm gonna go and save at the front, so therefore I don't have to, like, uh, hopefully go through everything again. And I didn't even get to test if it worked or not, because by the time... Like, I didn't even have to reload, I just went all the way through in one go. Comedic timing. Huh, I guess you were right. You didn't need my help. What if I went in and got locked in? How did you get out? Did you just bicep lift it? You probably did. You're a strong lady. Considering that the Yiga clan can just... One second. <laughs> Excuse me. Considering that the Yiga clan can just, like, teleport around, like crazy and seemingly only like teleport away even upon being sneak attacked I can only assume that he survived well I guess interesting that this is actually a key item instead of a wearable but I'm gonna go ahead and put on the ultimate fashionable clothes and uh, teleport right back there. At least they put a lot of personality into that guy, even if he was only there for like five minutes. It's kind of funny. The funny thing is, I probably don't even need to, like, wear the disguise anymore, but let's do it anyway. Be fashionable. Hello there. Have we talked before? I believe so. Karkara Bazaar is sounding real nice right about now, but mm. I can't stand seal surf, so I'd have to walk. I'm not feeling up to that right now. Why didn't I ever learn how to stay upright while on those things? While one of those things pulls me around the desert? Uh, what about you, dude? Mm. So, 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 Volta. Uh. So yeah, hey, my name's Bozai. I'm 35 single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it in a nice way too. So you wanna, you out here on your own? A pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me? Huh. Nice sand jogging. Oh, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They're, they allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. Ah. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroine? Eighth heroine? Hmm. Everyone's heard of the legend of the Gru and the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroine wiped clean from history, and no one knows why or how. 
a phantom heroine known to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. <laughs> Find her, show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? I'll go look. Yes! Huh? <clears throat> uh, according to uh, those who idolize the eighth heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for her, the Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Aww. Who knows? There might be someone in the Gerudo town who knows more about the legend of the seven heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture of something if you find her and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? Oh, and here, if you'd like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy besides. You seem to really into boots. Ah, neat. I guess these are kind of the bottom part to the warm diplet. The Gerudo Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. Uh. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? Uh. Many, many have investigated the eighth heroine, but it's an inscrutable legend. An unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll go closer and closer and then... <laughs> I wonder what happened if I wore the snow boots out here. Sand and snow, they're basically the same. Hmm, but I wonder. What that old lady by the statue know about the ape heroine? In fact, I could also ask, like, uh, the goddess to give me diddly dee's stuff. Hey there, Mr. Cute Bo. Sabota. Ah. Since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay and chat a bit. Ah, uh, nope. No eighth oh. heroin thing here. Let's see. Do I want more stamina or do I want more health? I don't think there's been that many things that have utterly annihilated me health wise, aside from like. Things that are kind of meant to be utterly annihilating. So I'm just trying to think. Which one would I want to know? I'm trying to think. Because health would be nice. Because, But at the same time, I do have like a lot of things that are like... Heal me up to full and give me bonus hearts. I think I'll go for stamina vessel. Because stamina is a little harder to manage compared to health. Again, I really like the design of the stamina vessel. It's just neat. Now I wonder, like... Across all of the different playthroughs of this game people have done, I wonder, like, how many people went for Stamina Vessel as their first shrine thing versus... Bubba Bubba versus a heart container. That'd be an interesting little... note. Oh, she's still... Oh, you did awake just in time. I have questions for you, old lady, maybe. Do you know of the eighth heroine? Nope, cannot ask you anything. Didn't expect to have a collectible creature thing here. Let's see, did she return? Brat hasn't returned in many days. Could she have been captured by those thieves? Hmm. Well, if she hasn't returned, now I kind of want to go back. Now I'm actually kind of curious. She did escape, but maybe there's more to it. If she's not back, that could mean that she's maybe trapped in the sandstorm, like they said. Or maybe I need to actually leaf through the valley, and she's out there somewhere in the valley area. Huh? 
I wonder if there's like a maximum limit to the stamina. Like, if you can only have a certain number of heart containers or a certain number of stamina vessels. Or if you can just pour all of the spirit orbs into one or the other. That'd be potentially interesting. I don't want to uh, stray too far up unless... Lest I miss... Her... Because she was out of her cage. Unless I missed her in the, like, uh, main entrance area. But I doubt it. Or maybe I need to actually return the... Like, the helm, and that's what activates her coming back. It could be anything. Maybe it's a thing I need to do. Or maybe she actually... Well, no. It would be funny if there were, like, real-time NPCs. That would be kind of amusing. Like, yeah, if you teleport all over the place. That NPC is still running in the same general speed. That would be kind of an amusing little thing. Hmm. Yeah, it could be that I need to return the helm, and then she'll return. It's just, like, kind of interesting. You'd think that after she escaped... Well, I didn't see her. Unless she's in a very specific place. Extra interesting is that she literally was just there to be like, They really love Mighty Bananas. Couldn't help her get out or anything. Just, they sure do love Mighty Bananas. Oh, interesting. They actually have water on their roofs. I wonder if that, like, affects things. Like, if water on a roof with, like, a building made for it, like, affects the insulation or anything. I think that'd be potentially interesting. Let's talk. Do you have anything else to say? Oh. Yep, just more of that. Captain has insisted I could dibbity dobbity dee. Luckily, ah. I already have the thing that you're looking for. It's all mine now. Mm. What about you? <sighs> nope, I guess I just go give the helm back. I probably should have talked to them before going to grab the helmet. Where'd you go? Oh. If you're looking for Lady Riju, she's on the second floor. Normally, people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she has given you permission, it seems. Oh. Be on your best manners. If she deems you to be a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Very well. Now I just need to find uh, how the hell to get up there. Interesting, is that a... Does the sand seal have his own little throne? Sabuka. Hello! Are you a traveler? Ooh. Sitting here is the chief's favorite sand seal, Patricia. But she's no ordinary sand seal. She's actually something of an oracle. If you offer fruit to Patricia by placing it before her, you'll receive some words of wisdom in return. Interesting. So like any fruit... Uh. I used to see the chief around here every day, but she's been so busy lately, I don't think she's allowed herself even a moment to relax. Such responsibility at such a young age. Anyway, make sure to care for Patricia. I make sure to care for Patricia so that she'll be ready at a moment's notice for the chief. Oh. I apologize, I'm just going on and on and on. If you'd like some words of wisdom, just offer Patricia some fruit. Let's see. What counts as fruit? There's fruit. <laughs> Would you like these mighty bananas? Just have to get closer. Hello there. 
Mighty banana. The southern desert is searing hot during the day. Bring gear made for it. I've spared you the painful seal pun. Thank you for your wisdom, kind Patricia. We're very grateful. I'm just saying that they actually give generally good information. I just still need to find a way up to the second floor, I guess, by these guards. Hello there. Do you mind if I check out your room? Oh, you have sheer seal plushies. That's adorable. And books. I wonder if, like, a water feature like this, like, would be a help or a hindrance. Yeah, would be neat if I could read that. Probably says something nice. Now we do the ultimate thing. We snoop. <laughs> From YouTube chat. Hello, sorry for being late. Ah, no problem at all. Life takes precedence, after all. Valeria told me today that Mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that my mother's death means I am now chief of the Gerudo people. I wish you'd stay here, though. I don't see how it can be a better place with us apart. Ever since I became the chief, the people in town have been a lot nicer to me. That implies that they weren't nice to you before. But if I look carefully, I can still see the worry in their eyes. It seems more common than when Mother was chief. Mother, will I ever be as great a chief as you were? The divine beast of Arnaboris, which supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother once told me that Naboris is the deity of protection for the Gerudo people, but it doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate tomorrow. I have to find out more. Having investigated divine beast of Arnaboris, I can say that it came to Gerudo Town. We'd be helpless. When I drew close to it using my wonderful sand seal, Patricia, I was driven back by a sandstorm and lightning. I turned Patricia toward home, but a monster spooked her, and she fled toward, directly toward Naboris again. The next thing I remember is Valeria standing over me, her face full of worry. Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, Valeria has made a point of never leaving my side. Even now, with such a valuable heirloom stolen by thieves, she refuses to tear herself away from me for a mo even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft, however. Nothing can change her mind about, about being responsible. Meanwhile, I can't help but feel that the theft happened because I'm not yet ready to be chief. The soldiers, uh, the soldiers search tirelessly, trying to recover the L. My bride just cannot talk today. My tongue decides to betray me. Trying to recover the heirloom. No one says a word about my leadership. They must be thinking about how powerless their chief has proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we've located the thieves' hideout. They definitely aren't common criminals, though. We haven't been able to get anywhere close to the place. To think that the Thunderhelm is right there, yet we can't get it back. Mother, Lady Orbosa, please give, give me your guidance. This makes me wonder how long you've been, like, Chief of the Gerudo. Makes it sound like you've only been for, like, a few months. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As a Chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Mm. The people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. I guess to a degree. Like, not directly, but in a way... Now, please give me the helm. There you go. You look good, kind of... You look like an alien. Um, how do I look? Ah, I get memory time. I keep forgetting that there are other memories besides the ones in the Sheikah Slate. So we're gonna get some Urbosa memory? Oh, we were even invited up to the giant camel giraffe. Ah, 
Ah, looking out for Zelda, how nice. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? Depends on when this is. It's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. It depends. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. Before waking it up, Link, his like silence was like, I have to bear the to burden. Own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. Yeesh. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. I like this. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Or what? What devious plan do you have? So <laughs> you just have power over lightning and that's what you do? You be mean? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? I like Orbosa. She's funny. Hmm? What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... How is it? Do I look right? <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's a tad big. <laughs> Just like, what's his name? From, uh, what's his name? Milo from, uh, Atlantis, the Lost Air, <laughs> a Lest Empire. Puts on his, like, grandfather's adventuring cap. <laughs> goes down past his eyes. You don't say. We can even see Von Aboris in the background. The threat Divine Beast Von Aboris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course! I am long! <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle, hearing a simple confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. There's only one way to get close to the Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Hmm. And then hopefully this will allow us to... <laughs> Still, it is a really, really is a little big. I don't think I've ever used a sand seal before. Well, let's -a go. Sand seal time. It'd be like if we utilized sharks as water horses. Hello. If you're hoping to cross the vast Garuda Desert, sand seal surfing's the way to do it. It's only 20 rupees to rent. Need a shield too? Just pay 50 rupees. Hmm. <laughs> How do I set seal? <laughs> Strina, sand seal is really easy. They'll go in whatever direction you want, but you need a shield to sand seal surf on, so don't forget about that. All right, you will need to equip a shield before riding. Gotcha. They say practice makes perfect, so why not just try it yourself? Huh. Well, let's seal the deal. What is some kind of slang? I wonder if it's just a thing outside of Gerudo Town. Nope, it is Link loving puns, apparently. Hey. 
All right, this is pretty amazing. Run him over! Ah. But man, this thing is fucking fast! It's like a graboid that's not hideous and evil. But very interesting. Very, very fast! Hello, who's here? Oh. I'm shocked. Despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. What is this, Star Wars? But the chief must have a reason for believing you can fight the Divine Beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hurry up. Hello and welcome to uh, Gerudo Town, where everybody is on the roof. Also, now thinking about how Orbosa just summoned the lightning of Snap, I'm just wonder imagining, like, Pura with that ability, since her catchphrase is just Snap Snap. What a sight, Divine Beast Vat Nabor. This is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use Sand Seals. Are you ready? Of course! Oh. Feel confident? Good, let's get going then. First, we'll use the Sand Seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think we can stop it. If there's lightning strikes, though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunderhelm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Mm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. They aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Twenty is not many, are you insane? That's amazing! This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Of course! Yeah. Could you give me a bit of room, just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Vanaboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. I think they heard you. Oh, oh wow. I can feel their power coursing through me. Let's move. I like sand seals. They're cute. Even though they kind of more resemble sea walrus or sand walruses. Lady Bosa, please grant Link and me your protection. I had to read fast because that wasn't one I could control. And I didn't know when it would just vanish. Also, I just realized your bodyguard just let this happen. I guess the, the big one did break. Hey. Hey. Gotta stay near and also change to bomb arrows. Hey. And now we're in the sandstorm. Hey. There's a shrine nearby. Oh, that's not good. I should probably stay behind her. Let her take the... the helm. Staying with him is a little difficult. The evil Tesla coil of the desert activates. At least it gives me a decent warning. Oh, that's not good. I wanted to get closer. Man, I'm just... 
Oh, darn it. Well, I guess I'll be waiting here. Keep up the fight. I do, I'm just waiting for it to activate, and then I can get back to my sand seal. As long as they don't die. Okay, good. And aim for me and not my sand seal. But man, this thing is... I'm trying to. <laughs> You're a bit slow. There we go. Now we're getting close. Take that. Move no more, giant giraffe man. Camel giraffe with a smile face. Here's the music. Yeah, the music was really good. I was too focused on the action to comment on the music, but it was good. Is it actually going to fall? That's hilarious. I guess more like sit. If it actually fell on its side, I don't think it'd be able to get back up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. Nope. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Well, to be fair, if you're the one that got that thing up and running to just tank all those shots, I would have died otherwise. You probably should put that uh, back on so you don't get lightning fried and your bodyguard have to come save you again. Um, YouTube chat. Hi, hello, hello. We just boarded Varna Boris. Don't let us down. Hopefully I won't. Imagine if I died in there and they had to wait for the next reincarnation of the hero to come in. Which probably would be too late because then Calamity Ganon probably would have overwhelmed Princess Zelda and taken off. Why does it look like your neck is a Tesla? Oh yeah, sure, just, I was gonna say, uh, not Tesla gun, but a rail gun. But I was distracted by the normal little guardian guy just standing right in front of me. Well, well, well. Hello, spirit of Orbosa. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. Well, to be fair, I almost joined you in depth a hundred years ago, so. I can't wait to see you take Nobortis back from Ganon. Hopefully. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Oh, there's a chest on the side. Hmm. I'm not crazily, crazily. Head over to that guidance stone over there. On collecting deep, all of them. Right. But still, I'd like to at least try. And I guess since we're in. A semi-safe place. We go back to Rito Drip. Alright. Your items are mine. You're not falling off. Worm? I activated a malice eye. Shut up. And why is it just out here? What if I yanked it really hard? Or like uh, maybe put it on top? Cannot put it on top. Oh. Hmm. Idea instead. What if I froze it? Yeah, I could freeze it. Okay, so first thing first. Take it and just lightly let it drop. 
Next we will freeze it. Then shoot. Mine! <laughs> and now we can maybe even use you for technology reasons. But either way, you're mine now. I wonder what the intended way to get that it was, or if that was the intended way. It's hard to tell sometimes. With open-ended... Babity Boz. Oh, this is gonna be the arena? Oh. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like that. I don't think I'm gonna like that at all. Let's see, anything else that's weak? No, it's just this, like, uh... This here, have a nice broadsword. Get out of here. Because this is an upgraded guardian sword to boot. I wonder if I can eat. Yep. Don cannot eat. I has Link using multiple magics to get a small treasure chest. Link, ha Link has his own, just like little interests in life, and they are getting treasure. And he will kill everything that gets in the way of his treasure. You're a glowy, glowy thing, too. So I guess be gone, Guardian Spear. That Guardian Spear is gone. It listened to me. It is friend. <laughs> this battle axe has the <laughs> throw farther thing. That is hilarious to me. I can throw this axe. This, not even a throwing axe, just an axe. Very, very far. Mine. Was this like the Von the Boris, like a repair module? In case of uh, Von de Boris requiring extra defense, why is it getting extra malice in here? I don't like the look of this. I don't like that it's getting extra malice -y. It's disturbing me. Another chest over here. More bomb arrows. Nice. <laughs> also, that comment of from YouTube saying, uh, Link using multi multiple magics to get a treasure chest. That kind of reminds me of the quote of, like, magic and technology at a sufficient level basically become indistinguishable. Which is basically this in a nutshell because... The Sheikah don't use magic here. They use... Oh, I thought it was going to be made of metal. Hmm. Question is, how do I activate you? I need to get a better, like, uh, look at that. Is that a smackety smack, or... What are you? Well, you are probably stuck. I'll open up a chest. That's one thing. Okay, so there seems to be maybe a ramp there, but it doesn't seem to be an entrance. Well, let's see. Hmm. I need to find the way up. I don't know that way. Because there is an electricity doodad down here, but I don't see anything that would be, like, activatable. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so it seems to... Ah, I'm, I'm a triple idiot. I just need to, like, uh, <laughs> just come over here. And I can get there from here. Completely missed this. Doing everything else. Nah, no, nah, no, just not doing it. <laughs> Shooting there out the thing just to check. Maybe. But at least I got my map. The simplest thing evaded me. A ramp. Because of eyes. From Twitch chat. Howdy. Hello, hello. We are taking on Vaughn Boris. After apparently just squashing poor, poor Master Koga to death with his own ball. And now we can rotate the beast. It seems like we can even rotate them, like, uh, separately. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. Yeah, it took me longer than it should have. I missed a ramp. The terminals that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Yeah, I do know that. I've done two other beasts. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. Will do. You're ready for this. Thank you, Arbusa. I do wonder what the electricity doodad is ultimately for. I guess I will get into the observation station? Well, no, I probably shouldn't. Hmm. I'm just wondering where would be a good place to be. I guess first let's check the map. So it is individual. Individually. So let's see. Because like that way. So one way to get up there is to like uh I gotcha gotcha. Let me see. Can I do the same thing? Oh this is a thing that I need to do anyway. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> ah, shut up, you giant turkey. <laughs> Rotating puzzles indeed. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. One, two, three, four. She begins counting. Now, I guess the best way to activate that is to... Ha! Did it! <laughs> and Yana, I want to say, the divine beasts that the ancient Sheikah have created is the most impressive engineering that have ever made in Zelda lore. These things are ginormously huge. That is actually a good point. Why did the Sheikah create these ginormous, like, frickin' things? I guess, sure, they have to be weapons terminals to a degree, but, like, still. And then what about you? Do I... Ah, okay. Directions matter. I think. I think these are electricity activated. Do I have an electricity blade? Kind of, sort of, but not entirely. So I need to... Ah, maybe. The middle needs to... Or like, uh, there's something, there's something, there's something. Like, fully flip you. 
Basically, I'll come back to this. So I know how to access this. Now let's start uh, flippity flipping the middle. Well, actually, how do we get up there? Maybe after we do other things. We'll just uh, we'll try rotating the middle a little bit. Go ahead and take treasure, because treasure mine. At least give me all the treasure first. Then I'll do things properly. Ah, oh, that works. Where the bow broke. Because I think that was a full dibbity da. So it'd flip it all around. I think we need to get like the electricity doodad on the top. Maybe. There's a thing on the outside. Ah, because. Hmm. I don't think so. Because the holes do rotate. The holes rotate. Okay, I want to see. Okay, that one doesn't have one. So you can go back to normal, but I want to look at this one. But there is a hole on over that way. Huh. So actually, let's see. Maybe not a full hole, but it's definitely saying that there's something there. And uh, I guess because you're partially turned. Oh, and even that came in. Go ahead and turn over so we can make it to the top. Uh, just to, because we can. See if that, like, does a thing, because I think we'll be activating certain things up here. Just wanna... Ah, so we can climb up, so we might as well do this. So what are you? Oh, that activated that. Which is an elevator. Gotcha. What are you? Ah, that's what it is. Haha. <laughs> Get everything up and running. Oh. Ah, mm, ah. Okay, I think I got gotcha. you. I think I got the plan, Billy. Uh, even though uh, there's still other things to properly do, but uh, we can uh, come back through.
<laughs> then again, maybe other things would have also let us get up here. On it, there's a. I'm gonna. No. Oh, it wasn't even fully thing. I thought I was being clever. It wasn't fully blocked off. I am a fool. All right. Although, like maybe there is something to it if I hide back here. Which, you know what? Let's do that again, Billy. Alright. Now I run. I was supposed to be like up here, up here, but uh, die. Oh, what? How dare you! Oh, there we go. How? Why'd you even open your eyes? Curiosity? Oh. Um. I did not agree to this. Okay, so this is an elevator. Was not expecting an elevator. Was not expecting an elevator at all, Evader. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, goodbye. Okay, I want to go back up because, uh, there's a treasure chest. Nope. Oh. Yo! Bastard. I want my chest chest now. Just keep it away from the electricity ball, lest we all die. Alright. Well, actually, let me see. Yep, this is the place that we originally were. Nothing down there, so it all has to be up there. Oh. Interesting. Guess, guess it kind of makes sense. What does it? But we don't want to mess with the circuit just yet. Gonna... Continue on and go up there and see about things. And then go about breaking the circuit and doing other things. Because this might allow me to charge certain parts of the circuit. area won't be affected. I see you. I also see you. Let's see. Uh, what am I going to use? I'll just use this. Oh, that also goes up? Huh. That's intriguing. Go ahead and activate this because I can. So far, I think this is the most interesting there are three divine beast. Hang in there. I will, I will. Uh, apparently, the axe took a break somewhere. I see you. 
Oh, except that's gonna that's gonna take a while for that to get back down. Cause there's one up there, then two in the dippity da. What even are you? Oh, it's another circuit. Gonna wait for this to come back down. We'll ride it all the way back up. See about things. Learn the secrets of this place. So I could probably balance the electro diddly D on top of that. And more malice. And an electro dealy. Know it. Almost didn't make it. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Eh, I can survive the malice. I am I'm not afraid of you. Oh, there was a climby thing this entire time? I'm an idiot. I have to turn it all the way around. Gotta slowly turn it. Interesting. Oh, no! The ball! At least they were kind of nice and... Had a catcher down there. If it actually fell off, that would be kind of bad. I want a Nintendo game with an actual potentially bad ending. Oh, so many people would be... Devastated. Uh, now we have to wait for it to go all the way up and then all the way back down. How dare you, you evil, vile, schmuck, jerk, murderer, vile bringer. But I wonder what, like, uh, a bad ending would be like. Oh, that's just a permanent activation. I thought we'd have to actually... Like, balance it up there. Huh. That's odd, I could have sworn that there were... Like more weapons, and then they'll be like, ah, the weapon's good, and now, now the weapon's just gone. Ah, that's what we need the orbs for. Aha! Uh -huh. Pedestals of bastardization. Da 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 da. -da. Now we activate you. There are two terminals remaining. Stay focused. All right, now the next thing is go up here because of the elevator on the neck. And then one in the middle of the twirly whirly. Watch me go ride the spine. Just one more down in the belly that I need to twist around and find. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Indeed. Who needs elevator? 
Are these perpetually turning now? That's interesting. That that wall is turning instead now. All right, there's treasure in there. We gotta go there. Meanwhile, hmm, because it's currently on the side. Ah. Uh, I want to go get that treasure. And then we'll come back and find out this. I wonder why you're even turning. Oh, that's why. Probably. So if it went, yeah. Interesting. Did not expect that. Feels like it's been turning forever. Now we just have to wait for that to line up again. And I will make my way in. <laughs> Did it! Treasure will be mine! Your lasers mean nothing to me! I am a god! God beyond gods! <laughs> ah, oh, my inventory's full. Damn it. Let's see. What shields do I want to sacrifice? I guess I'll sacrifice you. Give me all the great shields. From YouTube chat. Yo, I just beat the game in Master Mode and found this. Huzzah! I'm only just, this is the farthest I've ever gotten into this game. Because I played it like once, ages and ages and ages ago when it first came out. Now I just need to find that final. Da 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 da. Where is the final da 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 da? It's actually probably up there, so if we just flip this, turn this upside down. Might be able to worm my way in. Maybe go outside the turn? Maybe. Ah, darn it. Ah. Could be. wonder if this could also cause... Because that could be it. Ah, uh, yeah, because then the outside holes will align with that. I wonder if I can fly around. Cannot big... <laughs> big bye. I'm a fool. I got electrocuted. Should probably... You like that? Ah, oh, but it should be able to just get there from here. Sail on down. Watch it be upside down. Oh, but then I could just be in here while we turn it around. The ultimate way of doing things. <laughs> Hello, how does the sandstorm go again? Uh, don't think I've ever actually ran into the he sandstorm that just was yet. The last of the tournaments. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. I don't Head think I could miss it. It's it was the big flower thing of well. doom. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. Is that what happened to you? Huh? 
I want out. Let me out. Let me out. I demand my freedom of my own prison creation. All right, now the real thing I probably need to do is like, obviously, like that needs to be that way. I probably should have gone in there before going in there. But before we activate that, let's see. Let's see uh, what you'll like. Because we need to find a good, like, balance. Maybe like that. Then again, let me flip it upside down again. Make food? I already have lots of food. I think I'll be good to... <laughs> my infinite of uh, full recoveries will to carry me. I do believe. So yeah, I think... Uh, no idea what the, like, battle will be for this one. Okay, I'm gonna want to be like that so I can go there if I want to. What about you? First, let's, like, uh, set you semi right side up. And, yeah, I think that'll be good. How many Divine Beasts have I fought? I have fought... So far, Varmedo, Varuta, and now this one. I have never fought this one as far as I recall. Let's see. I'll put that on. Save. And I think, uh, let's see. What bow should I use? Guess I'll do that bow. And it probably wouldn't be affected by electricity. That's for sure. So, let's -a go. Also, probably should not have used my. Probably should have swapped to a guardian shield because it'll probably be throwing electricity all about. <laughs> How does the sandstorm bite the root go? It's like. You got a shield. You got kind of like a scimitar. And you even have red hair. Thunder Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Gandhi and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. I still wonder where their Not bodies go. Your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. Always fight for the death of your enemies. This thing is fast. What is it? Oh, blah! Did not expect that. Not. Can I shoot around you? Cannot. And that's why I figured, what if I... Ha. Ha. Can't even lock onto you, you're so flighty. I wonder if I can, like, stay locked onto you. That's very rude. I was trying to get up to you. Also rude that you can just be like that. Hmm. I wonder. I can. I can wheel, uh, whack away at a shield, though. Alright. Not that scary, now that I kind of know something about you. Darn. Got your shield back. You're being very rude. Be gone with your shield. Who needs, <laughs> like, proper, like, parrying when I can just destroy your shield? Oh, now you're going midway mode. Stage two! You're gonna charge yourself up with electricity. 
Well, surprise, idiot! I'm using a guardian shield! I don't even know where you went. Oh, you went very... What the hell is this? It's summoned electro rods. I don't even know where it is. It's doing it again! Ah, darn. Went to the wrong side. Probably. Huh. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Hmm. hmm. Huh, I wonder. I guess I technically can, but not really. Trying to think. Maybe I can bomb you to death. Summoned it right on top of me. I was trying what to do with this one. I, I've, I think I've damaged myself more than you have. It's also very far away, which is slightly annoying. This is kind of an annoying, uh, arena. So maybe if I... Huh. Well, that was doing something. That was weird. Hey. Find a way around that thing's shield. Yeah, I'm trying. I guess I could go the you know what? Uh stop. Oh, I forgot. You break out. Yeah. I'm I must be very dumb because I'm not quite sure what it wants, because if there was seemingly some reaction. Well, that's odd. Kind of like there was. Oh, because I'm a fool. I wasn't having this on. Because there was some reaction to the metal. Darn it! Darn it! I have a bad aim. Ah, that's how we do it. Yep. I just didn't hold it in place enough. Now I'm stopping you, so I can smack you a lot. I shall go and uh, eat a hearty skewer. Darn it, got its shield back right in time. Oh, that's not... Bad. How dare you. Now you're on your... Oh, that's very rude. I was not expecting you to ambush me like that. I always thought it was going to go back to its lightning rod attack. Do you have electric arrow? I wouldn't have thought that an electric arrow would work against this guy. That would be kind of funny and also kind of annoying, because this is the electric man. Why would he be affected by electricity? And also, yeah, that'd be kind of cool if rotation was the way to beat it, but I think that would be a little bit too much on, like, some players. I mean, it took me long enough to figure out just to pick up the metal rods that look like all the other metal things and shove it in its face. Took me long enough to figure that out, because I am a fool. Is this the third beast? Indeed, I've done... First Varuta, then Varmedo, and now Vanaboris. Go to Zora's domain. Oh, they did it. Unless, like, something activates after doing Vanaboris. Speaking of that, I still need to find that guy's wife. I still need to find that guy's wife. Once you activate the main control unit, you will not be able to re-enter. I don't. I think I got like all of the things. 
all of my, I think I got like all of the ba 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 chests here. Activate it and let us say goodbye to Darling or Bosa. I guess hello and then goodbye. <laughs> Time for Death Mountain. <laughs> Indeed. I'm gonna have to look through and see if I have don't set me on fire things. As well as look around for other quests to do around Gerudo. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free. And Noboros is It is kind of again. worrying that Ganon can apparently... It well, who knows? Maybe it's for your own will keeping you chained here. Years ago. Or it could be more terrifying of Ganon just chaining souls. Hello, Orbosa. If only we got to see more of you. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. Well, we have one more <laughs> divine well piece before that. the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Oh yeah, what's your special ability? Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. I haven't been using Rivali's no Gale as much as I should. Uh... Ooh, will this mean I get to call down thunder? And lightning? Badass. Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So we please, all had to die. Make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. I'll try. Oh. And also, take good care of Hyrule. If I can, so long as I don't die and fall into another thousand-year-old slip. <laughs> you finally mastered fire bending. I can electrocute everyone. I wonder where we'll land. Just back in Gerudo Town? Oh, no, just in the desert. Oh no, well, we get a cutscene and then will probably just appear in the desert. Now the giant camel giraffe no longer attacks the good people. Only attacks the bad people now. It would be funny if the divine beast just started going on a rampage against the monsters of Hyrule, rather than just the normal people. That'd be kind of funny. But we'll probably put a lot of people at danger. Camel on the mountain. Well, I guess technically plateau. Three of the four. Aim for Hyrule Castle. Extendo Death Ray. And that's just the aiming mechanism. Nabori. Legend of the Gerudo. Celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. <laughs> Isn't that right, Naboris? But when is the legend of Link? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. Like, were you awake for all that it century was that as a Calamity spirit? Ganon once adopted the form of a Garuda. Oh, that's neat. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. They mentioned Ganondorf. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. 
that moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> like, honestly, I can't... I cannot foresee a future where Hyrule Castle continues to stand after four Divine Beast Blasts. Now, where do we land? Oh, just right outside. Gaze upon me, I am your god. Can I just walk in? I did save you guys. Orbosa's Fury, a destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Orbosa, summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area, trigger with a charge attack by holding Y. And it just doesn't have a... It just doesn't have... Uh, like a... dippity da Oh, I can disable it! Oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, but I saved the day. Huh? I saved the day. <laughs> I saved your land. You didn't see me come from the sky. You'd think that I would have, they would have told the people. Like, hey, that guy saved us. Let him in. You beat the Master Sword Trials, right? Not yet. I have done one of the Master Sword Trials. We'll probably try and do... Like, uh... Because I think there it's, like, cut into three pieces, I think. And we might do, the like, a second one next time we stream. I did it. Oh, you're back? Phew. I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. Ooh, treasure chests. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Arbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Arbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. We have to cut to this front-facing <laughs> camera angle. Scimitar of the Seven, the famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Orbosa. It is said that when S Orbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. But my inventory is full. What about you? Daybreaker. This shield was cherished by the Gerudo champion Orbosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ensure its design... The both lightweight and very durable. Hmm. Guess I'll drop that and take this. And then let's see. Be gone! Might as well take this. A lot happened, but we are truly indebted to you. The champion's arms are treasures of the Gerudo, much like the Thunderhelm. If anything happens to them, you must let me know immediately. Huh. About that. <laughs> what, are you getting cold feet after discovering how precious these items are? You can relax. Though they may be precious, it is within my power to remake them if needed. I must have a diamond in order to make one, however, only one diamond. But they, uh, only one diamond, but they are the highest quality of gems. They're just as precious as the Daybreaker or the Scimitar of the Seven. It's best if you try not to break them. <laughs> Saba Saba. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Are you still worried about the safety of this town? <laughs> or have you grown so comfortable here that you can't imagine leaving? Whatever the case may be, you're needed elsewhere. You must eventually leave. You know this. That being said, when it's all over, if you want to drop by, I think we'd all be pleased to see you. Except your front guards. They turn me away. Well, they are mean to me. Did you get the Thunder Helm? Can we take the Thunder Helm? I don't think so. I think we can examine it. It was standing right by the... The da 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 And plus, when we had it before, it was like in our... Oh, now you get a quest. Uh? Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunder Helm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Huh? 
Be calm yourself, Valeria. You desire this helmet? I can take it? Hmm. I want it! I see. And yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm. But you are up against the, uh, the enemy of Lady Orbosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. <laughs> yes, lend it to me! Well, then, let's see how serious you are. This helmet is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. So it's basically, do all the side quests here. We already know that you're powerful, but you, uh, you can't solve all my people's problems with power alone. That's kind of cool. Another reason to do side quests here. And I guess before anything, anything, we'll quickly go to a stable. See if Beetle has anything that'll help me get to Gerudo Tower. Or not, not Gerudo Tower, but a Death Mountain. Don't know idea why I said Gerudo Tower. Like, that is an actual tower in the game, but... Beetle would not help us get there. Because, let's see, the other things... I'll have to look at my side quests. <laughs> it negates the lightning effect of lightning, though. <laughs> we'll grab it eventually, maybe, if I can do all the quests. Which does mean killing a Mulduga. Uh -huh. That'll be painful. It is in our list of do things. Wow, you came in the middle of nowhere in this weather just to see me. What are you looking for? Do you have anything that's good to help me there? Hardy lizard, warm darner, resist the cold. I guess I'll take some winter wing butterflies. Wow. Well, then again, I guess I don't really... Ah, well, take... Mm. It's heat resistant, not fire resistant. I'll take these arrows, though. Arrows are good. I think that'll be it. And I just need to think. I was like, what else? Uh, what, what the plan? What to do? Well, one thing is, let's see, the various side quests. Because there is this, the wife washed away. Because I think. Because I think he said that she could have washed all the way to Lake Hylia. And that's, well, yeah, that's Lake Hylia. So I shall just try and do that. We shall go. And now the camel is added to the loading screen. We're going to fly down there and just see about trying to find. Well, first things first, I guess we'll just go across the bridge and try to see. Does the lizard you can turn into a fire resistance potion? I, th I think I know about that. In fact, do I have anything? Let me quickly check. Let me quickly sort. Let's see. Animals. Do I have anything? Oh, we have... Oh, that's a hardy salmon. It had, like, kind of flames of it. So almost made me think. We do have smothering butterfly. Resistance to flames. That's nice. Very good. We have one fireproof lizard. That's good. Very good. And I think that we can use the shard of Farash's horns to, like, get a very decent, like, length of Babadaba. What? Uh, uh, okay, um, uh, I guess they are pissed at me that I killed their boss. Ow. Ah, that did not do much. Let's see. Stop. Stop jumping around. Okay, the the bow guy is my most annoyed. 
on you. Stay right there. I'm coming to smack you. Yeah, I'm not used to these guys coming for me. Well, he went away. Bye. <laughs> I'm just minding my own business. And all of a sudden... Oh, did he teleport back up? Or did he just teleport away? Teleport it back up, huh? Darn it, and his sword went away! You jerk! And that was a new sword, too! Uh, it was looked like a two-handed anyway. You gum. You ruined my life. I do not fear you. How did you miss? How could you possibly miss? And of course you also fall into the water because you just fly away. Yes, I saw you, Korok, but I do not want to deal with you right now. I'm going to clear out the bridge and then look about, because maybe the wife lady washed up on the, like, uh, what are they? Like, uh, rock island thingies at the base of the waterfall there. Because I could have sworn that somebody mentioned that she could have, like, somebody in-universe mentioned that she could have washed up all the way down to Lake Hylia. I probably should have actually just teleported back to Zora's domain and asked them, it was just like, hey, what's the tip? And then they'd give me the tip, and then I could make an informed uh, guesstimate. But yeah, did not know that the Yiga clan ramp up their efforts to try and kill me if I went and beat their boss, which I guess does indeed like prove that oh, go away i tell I, I flew far away from the other skeletons and you follow me like this how dare stalking is not allowed there too many enemies game stop hmm. does not appear to be an there, so i should probably but there are ducks I don't think she's a duck. Yeah, I should probably teleport to Zora's Domain, because I, I want to try and do this quest. Because I've had it on hand for a million years. Probably do it. Cap things off after doing Naboris. This now makes me wonder, though, like, if Breath of the Wild wasn't, like, uh, what's the word? Wasn't, like, a open world? I wonder, like, how the design of, like, the dungeons and designs of the various things would have gone. I think that that's interesting to ponder. Then again, like, part of, like, basically everything that is... Oh, you're probably asleep, aren't you? And that's why you're all the way over here. You're asleep in the communal sleeping pool. Or, no, you're here. Oh, Link, uh, if you're going to look for me, I will help you however I can. Mm -hmm. Please, ask me anything. Where could she be? Oh. The day Ruta started raging, she said she was going to fishing in Zora River. Ruta's rage caused the river to swell. She may be swept downstream. Or if Lido's group didn't see anything, maybe she passed through a sore river and is beyond uh. there. Worst case scenario, she could have been carried all the way to Lake Hylia. Uh -huh. All the way to Lake uh. Hylia. Which is funny because it's like do 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 do. I didn't see anything. I already have the Zora Helm. It was all the way up here somewhere. 
It was a very fun puzzle to work out. I'm just trying to think of where to, like, begin. Like, maybe she... Hmm. So I guess maybe go back there. And probably go to Hylia Island? And then... Basically work up. So it could be less, oh, she's at Lake Hylia, and more just telling you that if the end point where she could end up is Lake Hylia, working backwards from Lake Hylia might lead you to her is probably what they're probably laying down. <laughs> Probably. Because she wasn't at the rocks, and the only other place is like, uh, like these, and then the big island. I guess I can go check out the big island. And then see. One very nice thing of having, like, adventured around, like, uh, Gerudo desert so much is that there's like no rain I have yet to experience rain just wanted to make sure that wasn't her just sta standing in the river or not river but water and yep I see you Farosh I shall try to leave you alone there you are you were in Lake Halia Hello! We got a big haul today. Fishing is so much fun. Fishing all the way away. Away, away. Do you know Frank? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Frank? Yes, he's my darling, my love. Why, something wrong? He's afraid for you. <coughs> ah, my darling, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. I got carried away. She got carried away by the river and then got carried away by fishing. I've got to get back home right away. Here, you can have these. Results in uh, a lot of stamina. I'll take that. Ah. Okay, now they're all yours. Now then, time for me to get home to Zora's Domain. See ya. <laughs> she just teleported away. <laughs> That's <laughs> That is hilarious. That she... <laughs> Didn't even really notice. Hello, Farosh. Next time, I'll have to think about the things to do next time. Maybe try some more quests, do the sword trials a bit more. Maybe adventure around Gerudo Desert, try to kill a Molduga and probably die. Now the real question is, uh, I wonder where they'll be hanging about. Now that she's back home and not dead. <laughs> He's just still staying in the same place. Uh. Link, Link! My wife, May, she came back to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, but I shall try. Thank you, thank you, thank you, truly. And that is enough for me. Another happy ending. <laughs> From YouTube chat, hey Neon, how's your stream going? Quite well. The second part of Light, uh, what is it? Uh, Thunder Blight Ganon kind of kicked my ass. Well, not really. The first part kind of kicked my ass, and then the second part, I was just kind of wandering around. I was like, how do I beat this? These look like metal, but do I really magnesis them? And then I did the one thing once, and then he really came for me again. So now I'm trying to think. So next time, we'll probably... Like, uh, wander around... Gerudo Desert some. Because if I remember, the final Great Fairy is like all the way down here somewhere. But at the same time, I think it's going to be a ridiculous amount of rupees to activate. 
Because I think it went like what? 100, 500, 1000? And I don't think that it's gonna be a simple jump. I don't think it's just gonna be 2000. <laughs> I will one day buy a life-size plush of every giant Nintendo creature. I need a Waylord. Imagine if they made, like, a life-sized Waylord. They'd only be able to make, like, one. I don't think I've ever done the, like, like, a Eighth Guardian. I'm just trying to think, because I think he said that it's rumored to be, like, in the Gerudo Highlands? So I guess... I wonder if I can see it from here. Because if I remember correctly... Oh! I already see it. I'm going to mark it. I have basically no use for those sand boots, but... I can kind of see it from the map. Okay, we'll uh, look at that next time. Hmm, other things, other things, other things. Because oh, yeah. there was that guy that was looking for love... I wonder if he'll, like, wander around and there's going to be, like, I don't know, an actual mountain with a heart-shaped diddly D. Maybe. We have lots of, like, quests we should do. And also these things. <laughs> like, these nightmarish, like, super shrines, I guess. Because I wouldn't mind, like, checking out this as well. Going all the way up here and checking out this. Do the sword trial. There's lots that we could do. Like, next time. So, yeah. I think that'll be it for now. We did a decent bit. We've been going for over three hours now. Next time, we might do more sword trials. We might wander the Gerudo Desert a little bit. See if we can kill a Malduga. Uh, do the... Maybe grab a picture of the eighth. Like, a. Warrior lady. Uh, maybe check out these big labyrinth looking things. Just like feeling all out as well as look at the various other quests that we can maybe do if any of them interest me. I've done a surprising lot. What do you mean? Oh, I, I never talked to I never talked to the elder. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'll activate that. But yeah, try to do maybe some of these quests. No idea where we need to find a Goron whose name ends in Sun. Maybe he's he'll be in Goron City. That'd be hilarious. If, like, I finally go to Goron City and there's not a Goron whose name ends in Sun. But, yeah. I think we did a lot. We did Von the Boris. It took up most of the time. I think we did our things. <laughs> we got the Thunderhelm back and raided the uh, the Yiga clan. And now they are very angry with me. They are very, very angry with me. I kind of made the joke. Ho, ho. What if we, like, never run into Yiga clan ever again? Or, like, uh, not those. Like, what if we just don't run into the big kind of Yiga clan again? Those big muscle guys. And then the archers. Because they only seemed unique to the Yiga clan hideout. Now they're hunting me because I killed their boss. But this was fun, and we shall continue next time. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next stream should be Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard. And we will probably continue our Breath of the Wild adventures. If you want other things from me, my link tree holds all that I have with direct links in the bios, descriptions, and link places of the various sites. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. It holds links to my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings. My streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all these streams also get uploaded to. Or if you prefer Twitch, my Neon Icy Wings Twitch channel is also there. Other places that you can find me are like... Twitter, Tumblr, various different social medias where I upload art, like my little character in the corner, or art at my end slate. And I also upload some writing that I do to various writing sites, also linked in my link tree, because writing is fun. And finally, in my link tree is my Patreon, which is just a giant donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. 
But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.